This is an economy which, by headline numbers, is growing at eight and a half, eight to eight and a half percent. You've been attracting a lot of press in India, as you, as you always do, but also uh, a fair bit of criticism uh, for, uh, I guess, doubting those uh, numbers. You think it's more realistic or more likely to be six to six and a half percent. Uh, why, why so pessimistic? Well, I, it's not so much pessimism as saying these are even six, six and a half is a pretty good number. Uh, the, uh, you know, eight and a half has a little bit of fluff in it, uh, partly because of the low GDP deflator we use to deflate the nominal GDP numbers. Nominal GDP is about nine. If you deflate it by, you know, one percent deflator, you get eight percent growth. But one percent is not the inflation that India is experiencing. So there's one problem, uh, that problem. There's another problem, which is a lot of the GDP numbers are first taken off large firm growth. And actually, large firm growth has benefited because small firm growth has really been much more tepid in India. Large firms are capturing market share from the small firms. And so when we eventually readjust the GDP numbers with the fact that small firms haven't grown that much, my guess is we'll come closer to the six, six and a half. It's good to have be realistic about your GDP numbers because that forms the basis of policy. If you think you're growing fantastically, why change policy at all? <laughs> Fair enough. Professor, uh, you know, a, a lot of the uh, growth in India we're seeing uh, is foreign direct investment. Uh, it's also this tilt more, much more towards uh, manufacturing now, this whole Make in India campaign, as well as, of course, very heavy infrastructure uh, spending. Uh, the good news is the, the money is there, financing is there, credit cycle is going, uh, is ongoing again. But it took a, quite a while for India to dig itself out uh, from under the last time they went very heavy on infrastructure spending and we had uh, a lot of loans uh, go wrong, which uh, killed that cycle for, for almost a, a decade. Are you confident that uh, India or rather policymakers have learned their lessons from the last time around? Well, much of the infrastructure spend right now is by the state, not by the private sector. And so that's a difference this time around. The, uh, the financing of the private sector was what led to some of the bad loans that happened. Uh, but, you know, it is something to be uh, wary about because, yes, uh, India needs a lot more infrastructure, but it doesn't need a metro in every city. And uh, we have to be careful about that. But I, I think the bigger question right now is precisely the private sector. Why isn't the private sector investing more in India? And if we are to maintain strong rates of growth, which I, uh, you know, we absolutely need to to create jobs for the many people joining the labor force, private sector investment has to pick up strongly. And, and that's the puzzle. Uh, with all the euphoria about Indian growth, why aren't private Indian firms uh, investing at a, at, a, at a larger rate than they have been? Of course, everybody says they're going to invest, but the facts on the ground is they haven't invested enough so far.